Chez has those boys cooped up like a pair of jackrabbits, Ethel. He has his reasons. Well, I know that, but you can't raise boys to be scared of life. You gotta have gruesome recklessness into them. I think that's terrible advice. No, you don't. You take boxing and self-defense classes. I'm not talking about dance lessons. I'm talking about putting a brick through the other guy's windshield. I'm talking about taking it out and chopping it up. What do you mean? The mama put you on the road and she went to the baby station. Then I put the phone down to the kitchen shop and started the investigation. It's against the law. Go. It was against the law. I went to mama's saw. It was against the law. <laughs> The mama looked down and spit on the ground every time my name gets mentioned. The papa said, oh, if I get that boy, I'm gonna stick him in the house of detention. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way. I'm taking my time, but I don't know where. Goodbye to Rose and the Queen of Corona. Come here. See me and Julio down by the schoolyard. See me and Julio down by the schoolyard. <laughs> he saved my life. You know. 30 years ago, I was knifed in a bazaar in Calcutta. He carried me to the hospital on his back. Who stabbed you? He did. Well, there was a price on my head, and he was a hired assassin. Stuck me right in the gut with a shiver. 